Yo, what's up? It's Ryan, and today I'm going to show you my typical post-processing uh, process, I guess, for images. But right here, we just have this super simple scene I whipped up in Blender a few days ago. Uh, make sure I'm still recording. Um, and this is what came straight out of Blender. And I know a lot of the things that, that I do in Photoshop um, can be done right in Blender. I just know Photoshop way better, so it saves me like tons of time to get the same exact effect, so I just do it in Photoshop. So I usually just start off with curves, first of all, and do some simple like S-curve sort of contrast boosting, and already it's like way like more dynamic of an image. It's, like it's, it's so simple, but so effective, so that's always the first thing I do basically. Then I'll throw in a color balance and just start messing with stuff. And like I'll put the midtones one way, and then go over to the highlights and put them the opposite way. Just gives it a, just a tiny bit of a like a filter almost. Depends on the image. On like what I do to it, but it's always curves and color balance. And then it usually goes to a brightness boost just a little bit. And I mean like a, a little bit for um, and most always gradient, radial reverse, make it pretty pretty dark and then just opacity and put it at the very bottom so it's like part of the image. Bring down the opacity just a little bit more to like 20 right there. Um, sometimes I'll throw in a photo filter on top, bring it down to like 10. Try out some cooling stuff, something like that, maybe. This for this particular image, not quite. Um, but yeah, then maybe levels, which is basically just curves again, <laughs> really. Uh, and then I'm basically done. In case you're wondering what my, uh, like, one second, let me just, in case you're wondering what my uh, output settings are, I do this, uh, quality all the way up to 12, progressive five scans, Say okay, and then, and then I'm done. So that's how you go from something like this to something like this. I think it makes a massive difference and it looks way better with all this crap thrown on top of it. So this is what I do almost every time and I think it's super effective. So if you learned anything, uh, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Uh, thanks for 100 by the way, um, share, like, do whatever you want. Follow the links in the description, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.